you are learning power bi then this is the series for you start from video 1 to learn all the basic concepts of power bi this particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around dex around power query so that you can enhance your skills in power bi subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to show you one more power query function that is table dot add index column now table dot add index column is something which is going to add an index column to you so now you have add index column which is basically the function table is the one of first argument which you need to give new column name is the second argument and look at this here the optional initial value is also an optional argument increment is an optional argument and type is an also an optional argument so what's happening just by saying that i want to add an index column and giving a name is sufficient to create an index column so here one example has been given table dot add index column and that there is a table we will use our own table we don't need to create a table using records we already have few tables and then just give an index and it will add it index column starting with zero index here it has been shown so default uh, sequencing in power query usually start with zero now see in the second example it has been shown that index has been starting from a position and increment has been a 555 five, five increment so we can have that kind of increment so what we can do here is we can create a table which actually have these uh, index column so so first let's go to power query and in an existing table try to add index column okay so we go to power bi and in power bi under the home tab we use the data trans transform data transform data to reach to power query once we reach to power query we need a table a table where we want to add an index column so i have quite a few tables in this file and one once i'm done with the table functions i will share this file with you so this file basically has this table one table two which has been created um, so I want to add an index column now I want to add it manually now you know the way to do it you know from the menu you go here into the add column and you can say add index column from zero and it will add it and it's the same code which we have seen there isn't it the same code you have seen there this is the same code which is happening here index starting from zero increment of one and the data type so it's happening same thing is happening but we are going to do it ourselves so we'll delete this step so we'll say no 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 we, we don't want to use it we want to code it ourselves add index column so let's go to the right click advanced editor and once we open the advanced editor we go to the last line where we have the code before the uh, in and then we press a comma and press enter and let's give a column add index column and the way i do it i use this underscore and everything i just want to differentiate that i am writing down something differently than what power bi is writing with the spaces name so that you can understand that that's my custom code so now let's write down the code table dot add index column and please remember when we do this and this is one care you have to take care that I have to use the table just in the previous step. If you by mistake use this table or this table or this table then you will lose all these steps. Please remember every step here is a table. See table dot transform is a table returning here. Table dot add column is a table returning here. Table dot another add column is a table returning a table here. So if you take by mistake source and that's what I'm going to do it. And I'm going to show you that, you know, it, it could lead to different result than expected. So right now, this is my table and I'm actually putting source, not the last step table name. And then I say simply only one thing is required. If I give a name that will, that will do index, isn't it index column. And I'm giving a different name. I'm not saying index column or I can call it a sequence also. Okay. S C Q sequence column. Okay. And let me return this and returning this is really important because we are changing it manually power query is not going to do it for we have to do it manually and let's say done now look at this table those two columns which were add columns are now not appearing here and the reason behind that is basically this source because we have taken a previous step source so when you are manually editing code you need to be really careful about all these things you may actually end up you know taking the wrong table name and you you may actually uh not get all these steps which you have done in power query so 
go ahead and add the correct table. So I have used the last step table name. Now, other than table, if you are doing some operations like record and all those things, be careful that you add a table. So the previous step I know because add custom column, add columns also returns me a table. So that's why I'm using that table. Now we'll do it and we say done. And then you can see I got those additional column back. Now here two things we have not done. We, we have not said from where it should start. So we say one and increment of one. Okay. Okay. So we got the sequence and let's also correct the data type here. It's taking the right now, if you see it's one dot two, it's not whole number. Okay. So let's make it int 64 dot type. So third argument we are giving now means it's not the third argument, three optional arguments. So added first argument is table. Second argument is the name and third argument is starting position. Fourth is increment. Fifth is basically the data type. Okay. So now we got one, two, three, which is basically a whole number data type we got. Now here I can say start with two or zero or increment with zero even numbers. Okay. Zero and two starting from zero incremental start with one and increment of two odd numbers and start with five and increment of five table of five you will get. Okay. So in this manner, you can play around, you can play around with, you know, how you want it your index column to be uh, used. Now, typically, when you are trying to use it for a primary key, use a uh, sequential means one, one, one. If you're using for other purposes or your learning purpose, you can use whatever you want increment and starting position you can use. So, so now you know the index column, which you are adding using the add columns, how actually it is performing, what is the table operation it was doing. So you know that now, how do you manually do it in power query? You also know that. So go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.